Yes lads and ladies, how's it going? Max here and today welcome back to another match review. Tottenham 3, West Ham 2 in Jose Mourinho's first game in charge for Spurs. And I tell you, I've got a big smile on my face. I'm happy with the result and I'm sure many of you watching are. And I'm definitely happy with this man up here. Deli Alli had an absolute blinder today. I feel like he's back. He's got that shithousery that we love about him. Getting stuck into tackles and just getting in the opposition's face. And where else do we start other than where he's lying on the floor? Forget about this shit wallpaper, by the way. Yep, rub it in. Shit wallpaper. Didn't go to the game today, but it doesn't matter. We've got a live reaction video coming shortly, so be pre prepared for that. But Deli Alli, the goal, the second goal, he's lying on the floor, on the touchline, keeps the ball in play, and Sonny runs down the wing and smacks it across the pitch to Lucas, who taps it into... Uh, I'm going to say an empty net because Roberto was pretty useless today for West Ham. He couldn't even catch a cold out there and it was pissing it down with rain. But anyway, Tottenham, I feel like we've got our mojo back. We started so brightly. We are literally, we started obviously with, I, know I keep saying obviously in these videos. I mean, it's not obvious, is it? But we've got Kane, Son, Lucas and Delhi in the front four, you could say, with Dyer in midfield. It was it's actually good to see him back because let's face it, we know what he can do. You know he gets stuck into tackles. You had Harry Winks next to him. You had Toby, Sanchez, Aurea, Davis, no Danny Rhodes, Ericsson on the bench as well, and Gazza obviously in the sticks. Who I'm also going to put a big praise out to him because he's launching the ball forward. He's clearly been told by Jose, that's how we're going to play. Don't play left to right at the back. Don't invite pressure. Just get the ball long. Get the ball to Kane. Win some flick-ons, which we saw today where Son was running down the wing and he got in behind a few times and probably probably could have had another chance to get another goal, just like Kane. He was... He got in behind a couple of times and he probably could have found the back of the net again, but he got himself on the score sheet and that's all that matters. 3-2 sounds a lot closer than it probably was because I feel like Spurs had majority of possession and this is what I like. We're getting the ball, fizzing it into the strikers, fizzing it into the front four or front three, whatever you want to call it. And we just look like we had that oomph about us that we've been missing for so long. So it was great to see that. It's great to see all the boys playing with a little bit of fight and energy because it was a North London, it's, I mean, it's not North London, but it's a London derby. You know what this game is going to be like. You know Mourinho is a masterclass when it comes to these sort of games and these sort of events. He knows what he knows how to play. He knows what to bring. And it just looked like that bit of fight. The players wanted to play for him. And it was beautiful to see because obviously we we started off with what was the first goal again. It was Son. Deli Ali picks it up in that number 10 role. He's playing just behind the striker. And I heard Glenn Hoddle, I believe he said, he is going to try and... Sorry, I'm just rearranging... Try and play either Ali or Ericsson just behind the striker. He's probably not going to play both of them, so it'll be interesting to see what happens and see how that pans out. Um, he passed it into Son. Son done a little uh, step over to put it to his left-hand side, and he fired it across Roberto, who probably could have saved it, but Son got himself on the score sheet, and he also got the assist for the second goal, where fizzing it into Lucas Moura back stick. And the third goal... Just after half time, this was so it's not like we took our foot off the pedal. Whips, I think it was Kane. Correct me if I'm wrong, not that it matters, but Serge Aurier picked the ball up on the right hand side and he's crossed it. Absolute beautiful ball, back stick, boom. Harry Kane gets his head on it and he's found the back of the net. So that was 3 0. You could argue we went a bit sloppy towards the end, but Mourinho is obviously going to have these things to work on and he knows. He knows how to fix these sort of things. Like this is this is Jose Mourinho. I mean, my hand is literally killing. I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually just gonna put it here. I'm actually just gonna put it here. But anyway, that was that. Bloody hell! I can't even. I can't even hold my phone. I can only apologise. Look, this is awful. Who cares? Who cares? We got three points today. Three points. We conceded two goals right at the end. And you could argue one of them was very sloppy from the corner, which was Ogbonna's late on. But. I don't really care. Mikel Antonio as well. He's actually a threat. He is a bit of a threat, to be honest. Mikel Antonio, he's just massive. And I don't, I don't actually know why he didn't start. So if there's any West Ham fans watching this, maybe you can answer that. Because it could have been a different story. Because he throws his weight about. He's not afraid to get involved. But I'm going to leave it at that. I've got my live reaction coming. I hope you guys have enjoyed. It's good to be back to winning ways, like I said, since January. And we've got Jose at the helm. 
and it just it's exciting times as you can tell with this smile on my face so up the boys up Jose can you Spurs we're back to three points I'll see you guys soon for another video take care bye bye for now